Welcome back to Election Night 2022 here on the completely unbiased and impartial ABC. And we've got some really cool, awesome breaking news. Anthony Albanese is the new Prime Minister of Australia. And here comes Albo now. You've just got to wonder what's going on inside his head. Woohoo, everybody, we finally did it. We're the Prime Minister of Australia. Oh, no. Someone's going to have to do the acceptance speech. Oh, I hope we don't freeze up again like we did on the cash rate question. Sit down, Buffhead. We'll be fine. Isn't that right, Joy? Step aside, everyone. I'll do the acceptance speech. Woke elbow. What are you doing? On behalf of the Labor Party, I support the Uluru Statement from the Heart in full. In full? What are you doing, Woke elbow? Why did we say in full? Ah, that implies we know it's actually 26 pages. Calm down, everybody. I'm sure Woke elbow has got a good explanation. It is only one page. I've got the Uluru Statement in full right here. Come and take a look. You see, everyone? A reasonable explanation. Oh, oh thank, thank goodness. goodness. Yeah, yeah, copy of it. Oh, thank goodness. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm in charge. Me! Woke elbow, and I'm gonna run the country. Oh no! I'm gonna pump $500 million into this voice referendum. Should be a piece of cake, isn't that right, sanctimonious elbow? Yes, we're so morally correct, woke elbow. Let's go. Well, 60% of people want it, so here it comes. Australia has voted no. Huh? It failed miserably? What happened? All right, you've had your fun, woke elbow. You can let us out now. No, it's time to fight climate change. Let's do a press conference to announce even more spending on renewables. Quick, to the private jet. Good idea, hypocrite elbow. But renewables won't help bring electricity prices down by $275. That was an election promise. You're right, but I didn't promise that. That was big fat liar elbow. Was it me? My word is my bond. Oh no, the people are turning on us. They're superimposing our head onto other people's bodies. Funny memes. Not on my watch. Where's your wellian elbow? Yes. Quick, let's send to the internet. Deploy the e-safety commissioner. Oh no, looks like we've tanked the economy. We're heading towards a recession. What are we going to do? We could increase the immigration. Well, do it then, short-sighted elbow. All right, let's just increase the immigration by a tiny bit. Oh no, we've let too many in. Now we've got a housing crisis. Inflation's even worse. Well, I don't see the problem. Quick, set up a meeting with China. If we're nice to them, maybe we'll get out of this. China? What about their clear human rights violations? Blah, blah, blah. I can't hear you. You can't ignore it, woke elbow. What's your stance on the issue? Go on, tell him, spineless elbow. No comment. Oh no, what happened? Look, it can't be. Peter Dutton is the preferred prime minister? How did this happen? Well, what did you expect? <gasps> it's competent elbow. We thought you were dead. No, not dead, just dormant. I've been locked up here since primary school. Remember that macaroni picture we did? Oh, oh yeah, it was very cool. Work. Yeah, that was some of our finest work. Now listen up, we can't have Woke Elbow running the show anymore. We had a chance here to be a good Prime Minister. Not great, but good, like Gough Whitlam good. And now look at us, second fiddle to Peter Dutton. You and your woke ideology, how can you call yourselves progressive when you're making everyone go backwards? Why don't we do something that's in the best interest of the country for once? And stop being woke, stop being spineless, and stop being big fat liars. You know what? Why don't we let competent Elbow have a turn for once? Yeah! So what's the first thing you're going to do, competent elbow? The most competent thing I can think of. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has resigned. Ma, who's going to be in charge now? Peter Dutton? Do you have any idea what goes on in his head? I am absolutely ecstatic about this. Yes, me too, happy Peter. I'm quite emotional, actually. Pull yourself together, Peter. You're being hysterical. by D. Huxium for Pauline Hansen's One Nation Brisbane.